can hear voices. and everything came um, I'm shaking um, and she didn't jump and she's gonna get get admitted to a psychiatric ward so 
I'm glad I saw her and I stopped. <laughs> Fucking Mexico. Some nurses came as well to help. Oh my god, I'm shaking. She, that girl was a wreck. She was gonna jump. Whew. Jesus, that puts things in perspective. Just driving along and seeing someone sitting there and just stopping and asking, Are you okay? Um, she said she was waiting for a train. And, um, and now she's in an ambulance and going to be taken to hospital. And I'm glad she's on the American side because she can get some help. And I tried to tell her that all you're going to do is transfer the pain. And it's, you know, suicide's a permanent solution for a temporary problem. Um, but you know what? No one's dying today on my shift. safe. Where do you check in? I'll be concierge today, let's go. Lobby. Fuck. What a day. <laughs> Hey, my credit card wouldn't work, which is a concern. One. So I've got some pesos again. I just changed 200 US dollars, which I had on me. So I've got about four or 5,000 pesos on me. Ooh. This is nice. That view. Huh? 
This is nice. About 125 US. Very nice, one of the better hotel rooms I've been in. Okay, let's um, get unpacked and get sorted. I wonder what the day will bring, day 63 on the road, I think, or 62 or 64, somewhere in that region. But um, today, I think I'm gonna ride across Mexico head towards the Tijuana border. So it's about well, 1,400 Ks. I'm gonna do it in two days, I think. And, um, but I never know, I might change my mind. But I am back in Mexico. You know, I'd like to find some pink crosses. Um, it's called femicide. It's where a lot of women were killed in um, Mexico and um, particularly in, in Juarez, where I am, and um, the women had had enough. They were just murdered, there was, you know, sexual assaults and they were just murdered and so many women were disappearing, particularly in the 80s and 90s from here. Um, you know, they say up to thousands and thousands, that's what they're saying. Um, and some of their bodies were just found at the tip and just on, on roadways and um, it was really, really bad at one point. So. Um, they, they put pink crosses everywhere that a body was found. And, um, but I was going to see if I could find some of those pink crosses today. I'll give it a go. I don't know how I'll go. But, um, but we are going to be heading Never Eat Soggy Wheat Bix West um, towards, the, um, towards Tijuana, I think. But who knows what can happen. This is Mexico. Anything can happen. Don't know really what to do, whether to stay in Mexico, look for these pink crosses, or cross back into the US and get through the mountain ranges, but there's something about the Chihuahua Desert that intrigues me, so I'm more inclined to ride through that. I just like being vast. I know people laugh at that. I just like doing hour after hour after hour on the road. I don't know why. I think my computer's about to blow up. This is fucking bad. I can't even touch it, it's that hot. Clearly something's gone wrong with my PC. I'm in trouble now. For fuck's sake. It's not fucking one thing, it's a fucking other. Okay, I was able to turn the computer off. The question is, can I turn it on again? Um, if I can't, it means I can't download any more footage. It means I can take it. Oh, fuck. Fingers crossed. Oh my god, it's coming on. Will it reboot up? <gasps> this laptop's done about five trips. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're back. What happened was I forgot that it was in clothing and I just threw it on the concrete, um, packing my bag and then realized, oh, that's my laptop. And then it made that funny noise, but it's all good. 
came good. All right, let's let's get packed to get the hell out of here. Something very cool about just riding around Waraz. Waraz, J U A R E Z. But um, yeah, it's pretty run down. got to be the worst area Many, many 
women, they call it femicide, have been mur murdered in Mexico. Um, young girls, bodies found in the desert, as I said, but they put up these pink crosses and um, but there's one at this border gate here, which I'm gonna have a look at. These are all names of the women that have been murdered on this cross. And what makes the people so angry is that most of these crimes haven't been investigated or where anything's been done about it, which is really sad. So. Let's get the hell out of here, I'm right on the border. Got about a million people looking at me. some pink crosses in the desert but anyway I think I'm gonna stay in Mexico and cut across the desert towards Chihuahua or head through the Chihuahuan desert and um, go remote let's go something about this place it's the same feeling I had with India Beautiful old building. Okay, gonna go to a place called Entronque. It's it's west along the border. We're staying in Chihuahua, um, leaving um, Juarez. It's gonna be remote. Let's go.
crosses, those monuments. Mexicans are really, let me just go this way. Mexicans are really into their monuments of the dead. dawn and it's like the vampires push all the bodies and cars and stuff yeah it's anyway look it's not very nice streets of Juarez. This used to be the murder capital of the world. It's still up there. Um, that's a tip, I think. That's the local playground. I don't know if I'd want to be taking my kids there. Too long. If I had my turd ties on, with no luggage, I'd come up here. But this is this is real steep. But I don't know if you can see that monument. I just can't get there on my bike. But look at this view. We can hear voices. I need to get out of here. This is not the place to be for a tourist. Oh. 
All right, mate. That's a pit bull. And I've just dropped my fucking bike. Watch you be with this bastard up. It's all about not drawing attention to yourself. Fully loaded bike, straight up. They're fucking around. It's all about maintaining a low profile in these places. Yes, mate. water and snacks to the desert and, um, yeah bit of an intense bit of an intense place um, leaving your bike alone but no one's come near me which is good I'm seeing mums with kids walking the streets no drama I dropped my bike in the seediest looking area and picked it up and no one came running out with Bella Clubs or guns. So, a good place to drop my bike there, wasn't it, really? Some people probably thought that was staged. I'll tell you what, it's a seedy looking outskirts of Juarez. Real seedy. I think 
Anyway, let's keep going. It's not that deep, let's go.